Well, howdy, howdy, their partners. What's a ugly son of a gun like you doing in a town like this? Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My role play is it just doesn't work with my kind of accent or or character. I don't know why I bother. Anyway, oh no, I'm going in the wrong direction. I wanted to see Bonnie. Thank you for joining me once again to Red Dead Redemption 2024. This is a lot of fun. I'm so glad I picked this up. Well, well, well. Now, if it's Bonnie, I'm guessing, and the fa and this the set that we're in, the barn, the horses. I think we've got another worker mission. Oh, so be it. They're fun anyway. Come on, come on, let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on, come on! Amos! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and our it's subs a twister. are here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. I love his name's Amos, and he called her Hamus. <laughs> That's not that funny, actually, but uh, this is my horse. Let's go. I like the uh, right, backdrop. Rain. In a place like this, that's why they're so. That's why they're so panicking. It's like well, we don't normally get rain, but when we do, are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling, but nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no change. That. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. Oh, she's such a flirt. I don't want to lose you too, miss. Right, now we got the herd. Where where are we where are we where are we taking them? Oh, that's not the herd we want. Whoa. Oh, no, it is. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. All right, let me just find the clutch. Engage. And we're off. You smell that? This is getting nasty. It's getting harder to see anything. Don't worry, as long as we can see the get. Oh, we've got to, we got to stray. we got to stray. Oi. Straggler. Get gone. Oh, what the hell? He defied my instruction. Get back in the pack, straggler. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, he's done it again. Little shit. Get back here. Look, I can barge you. Okay, they don't seem to care. You know, you wonder what you'd do with your spare time on a Friday evening. A bit of cow hustling. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's not what it's called. It might be. I could have got lucky. Whoa! Awesome! Oh no, that's not awesome. Yeah, well, I'm spooked as well. Okay, do something. Do something. Move in front of the herd. Okay, I've got it. I got it. I got it. Slow them down. Slow down, boys. Slow down. Let me just bring my horse to a halt here. Oh no, no, no. Oh, you're, you're still. Stop it now. Who do you think you are, a flipping herd of bison? Calm thyselves. There we go. That's uh, that's it. Right, now we've got we've got the gang back together. Slow down. Go on. Uh, that's called cow poking. Illegal in most states. All right, now what? Oh, we got it. Got another straggly. Straggly waggly. Oi, get back in the pack. Yeah. 
He's like the ace of ace of cows. Get, get back in that deck. Now, this breed of cows. Do the females have horns as well? Because I was always I always thought. Right, this one this one doesn't want doesn't want to play. There you go. Now it says return to Bonnie. Bonnie, I was just taking care of the straggly. Oh, for God's sake, there's more of them. All right, all right, I can do this. I'm an expert now. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's amazing, uh, like, the... the People can control animals just by using other animals to scare the animals. Right, move the herd back to the ranch. Right, let's, let's start by getting on the right-hand side of them, or the left-hand side? I don't really know. It doesn't matter. Just on this side, on the back side. The back side of several cows. Which is pretty much all we can see right now. That's it. Come on, I'm not doing this on my own. We've got help this time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 20 of 21. This this little one's got a mind of its own. I once, uh, well, I, I used to live, well, on a kind of a farm. It was one of those kind of posh farms, like, <laughs> uh, but we, we lived next door to a dairy farm. And uh, he'd often take us out and, you know, I drove tractors and helped gather in hay. It was, what, it was actually really, really cool. Oh, hold on, we've got a strength. And uh, yeah, we had stalked. It was all on the top of a, a hill in the in the middle of Somerset, and um, we had storms, lightning storms. Well, much like this, this being a lightning storm. And uh, yeah, we once found a cow, um, a young heifer. She was uh, who was stood under a tree in a storm, got struck by lightning. Um, obviously, she was no longer um, of this earth. She'd gone to the great cow gods in the sky. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's a real it's a real risk, you know. They're out in the open land. The nearest the nearest tall thing being a tree, cows will go yeah. hide under it. We found her wrapped around some barbed wire because she'd obviously well panicked a little on her way down. But yeah, I mean, I, just, I don't know why I told you that story. It's not a very pleasant one, is it? But it is the truth. But I did enjoy those years. I rode my first motorbike in a field because my mum would never let me take one on the roads. <laughs> and I, and then I, I ended up using it for years. Nearly killed myself on it though, even in a field. Alright, who's the fool that's standing right in front of all of these charging cattle? There we go. Uh, well, mission success. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. Farland. Well, there you go. Job done. Keep your so, eyes open, Mr. Is, are, are all of Bonnie's missions to do with, like, farm work? I think we're going to find out. Let's see what the next one is. When I say a posh farm that I used to live on, I say that because we had horses, right? And my, and my sister used to ride horses. I did a little bit. I just didn't like them after a certain age. Um, and we had sheep and uh, dogs and cats. Don't think they count. Uh, rabbits. All right, all right. I said rabbits. This horse. Whoa, he doesn't like the word rabbits. Oh, he did. I said it again. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you just park yourself there and calm the hell down. I promise I won't mention... The R word again. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. All right. Let's check this. Let's check this again. Rabbits. Rabbits. 
Oh, he didn't like it, but it's, it's okay. I think he just got a little excited. Look at this beautiful view. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? The father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Uh, well, just look behind you. It's not all you've got. Do you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. Uh... He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Was he a character in Red Dead oh, 2 then? I think I see someone. Okay, Miss Miss McFarlane. Whoa there! So was there a, a McFarlane banker? What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Look at that, you he's like a walrus. Right now, fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. That, that mustache, the shape of his face. I just a couple of tusks, and I'm not sure we'd be able to tell the difference. What could have happened Come to those poor men? And stay with me. I've got a bad feeling Whoa about there. this. Oh, little Star Wars I'll reference. Get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. All right, the smoke on yonder hill. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. Why is she getting all pissy with me now? I've been Nothing helping her for days. Found a way to Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. The barn is on fire. All right, we're getting to the barn. Okay, so so we've been. Okay, that was a terrible jump. I did press it with plenty of lead time, just like that one. Way. Right, what do we do? Oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong side of the barn. Oh God, no. I really should have saved the game. In fact, can I save it now? Uh, oh god, I can't. I can't save it now. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Ah, uh, don't panic! Don't panic! Get up! Get up! Get up! Press X to jump up and grab a hole. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really know. Really know I could do that. X X X. Oh, shouldn't say that. Uh, oh god, we're gonna. Everybody's gonna die. Come on. Get up. Uh, a bit quicker this time, please. Why was it so much quicker than the last time? Right, right, right. Up. No, that's just jumping. There we go. Come on, John. You got this, man. Go to the ledge near the barn wall. All right, I'm at the ledge near the barn wall. Climb up to the upper barn platform. Oh, oh, we got. Oh, a bit of parkour. Well, it's not parkour, is it? You know, you know what I'm saying. I remember this kind of mechanic was in the game. Get into the barn. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a great plan. Oh, well. Uh, climb down to the ground floor. Okay, okay. Slide. We need to do this quickly. Slide, slide, slide. Uh, a burnt ladder? Uh, take your time. Take your time. Don't worry. We got, we got all the time in the world. The horses will just be mildly roasted. Open the barn doors. Open. Well done. Now let's save the horses. Okay, how do we get them out? Do we spook them? Oh, it's up to me. Uh, I'm chucking somebody else. Get in there. Slap. Oh no, no, no get back down. Slap the horse. That's it. That's what we want to do. Bit of bit of horse abuse. It's for their own good. Oh no, we've lost one. Okay, ride the last horse out. Oh, it's genius. Oh, 
Here we go. Take the horse to the corral. Well, okay, I'm a I'm a regular hero. Is she gonna be so uh, rude to me after this? know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, w w hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. <laughs> that gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Oh, don't you feel all well, warm and fuzzy inside? You get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. <laughs> That's got to be like a major end of a chapter in the story or something, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Fame. An honor. So there is a, there is obviously a, a, a karma system in the game. You can play this like an absolute ass, or we can play it like a, um, what a hero. And I, I don't know why you would want to play it any other way than, than the heroic way. What's that? What's that symbol on the map? That half moon. Night watch job. We've already played poker. I haven't tried the whole shoes game, which sounds really boring, actually. But should we try a night watch job? We've got to try all the little sideies. Figure out what to do. Let's go. Foreman's office. Night watch. So what do we... I mean, it's been a tough old day. But we can afford a little night security. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. All right. Search the area with the dog for any disturbances. Not that, I mean, they cut to the... I was going to say the chase, but they cut to the very slow walk. Uh, lasso and hogtie criminals will stop them by any means before morning. Oh, right. You can use the lasso. I should, I should be using that more often. All right, come on. Where are they, boy? Sniff them out. I like this idea of, of lassoing and hog tying before I shoot them in the legs multiple times. Nick an artery, you know. All right, I think we found the world's worst sniffer dog. It's this one. It's this one. Is he the bad guy? Do, do they run? Like, is that what we're going to do? They're going to go, oh, no, you caught me, and then they have to leg it, and i got to run? Okay, that, that's probably what's going to happen, isn't it? I Come on, I wasn't buying any land until I found a proper career. Get out of my way. Urgent night watch business. There's actually a series of um, Terry Pratchett books. I, I can't remember much of the story. All I remember is how much I loved them. About a night watchman called Sam. Sam, oh, I know his. I know. I remember his name. It went when it's too late. Kill the coyote. Oh, okay. In that case, we're gonna need something else. Yep. Shot in each bum cheek. Well, we got a lot of dead chickens here as well. Go to the foreman's office to collect your reward. Before I do that. I'm taking the feathers and the meat. I'm going to sell them at the general store, which is what I've been doing, actually, uh, before I started recording. All the pelts and meat and stuff I've just been selling, I don't think you use them for anything else. It just makes good sense, really, doesn't it? Right. Uh, 
One more. One more dead chicken. Could have been so much worse. There's, there's the good doggy. Can we pet the dog? You can't pet the dog. Oh, Red Dead. All this revolutionary mechanic and you, you didn't even allow us to pet the dog. Right, come on, put your back into it, John. Sprint up. Now, what do I get? What kind of a reward for killing a coyote in the night? What is it? Five fame. Okay, that's good. Bollard Twins Outfit Menu Entry Updated. Sure. Okay. Now, I'm going to head to my own private personal home. With where my horse is kindly marked. The outside. You stay there. I'm heading in for the night. And we're going to fast travel somewhere else. Oh, hang on. Does the crate replenish with stuff? Does it, does it, does it? Yes. Okay, refills. All good. Right, don't don't look at me. I'm getting undressed. Save definitely. Uh, yes, overwrite definitely. I thought for a minute that you could fast travel from here. Oh, you got to do it at the campsite. So the game's prompted me to do a wanted poster a couple of times. I, I will. Uh, oh, I just don't want to do it now. I want to do another mission. Oh, nearly killed that guy. Sorry. Sorry, there's a stagecoach over there, but I'd, I'd rather do it off my own back. So. Let's dismount. And whip out the old improved campsite. <clears throat> Why? It, what, I don't know what's improved about it. Um, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, but we're going to travel to... Oh, you can't travel to the map, I think. But Armadillo, Ridgewood Farm, or McFarland's Ranch. I need to go check the map, oh, for goodness sake. It is a bit long-winded, but that's okay. Armad Armadillo. Seth, there we go. That's the person we haven't yet met. Marshall Johnson back there for another fun time. Uh, let's go meet Seth. Because that's, I think, a new, a new mission giver. All right, well, here we go. Um, I'm guessing this is where this Seth lives. What have we got here? What have we got here? What is this? What is this? Why? 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 What are you, miss? Dear, oh dear. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. That's what she said. Yes. I'll see what I can do. Oh. All right, you sit tight. I got something else to do first, but I won't forget about you, miss. I don't know what, I don't like the way John was so sort of... Anyway, but we got, we got to go talk to the musician in the Armadillo... Did it say station? I guess so. Coots Chapel. Oh my god, this horse. Oh, good lord. That looks like one of those horses from the Harry Potter movies. That is seriously malnourished. I feel terrible for it. Oh, that's awful. 
Oh god. I mean, I, 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 I do like horses, but that, that's just a, that's abusive. I, I'm sure that it's not their fault, but I, I, I can see what we're going to have to do to help this guy out. Food and farm. Dear grave robber. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. I love that Goodbye, shot. Hi, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? Look at me! Look! Scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. My precious. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. <laughs> I like this guy. Well, I don't like him at all. I mean, I wouldn't touch him with somebody else's barge pole, but, but he's, he seems a decent enough human being. Doesn't sound so harmful, but I'm, I'm sure he's kind of so. Oh God! Look at that—he's riding that horse. Now don't yeah. ride it. Find another one. Let that one rest. Give it something to How eat. How can you take that long? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrite! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. It's funny, I heard that said somebody somebody else said that once before. Like, if if, if I die, don't feel sorry for me. Because I won't know anything about it. Or if I, if I have moved on to another plane of existence, I'll be fine. Worry about anybody around that's still got some kind of dependence on me. That that makes more sense. Feel sad for them, not me. I just heard you say something. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So. You want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. 
I was wondering why we kept slowing down and speeding up. It's because that coach was on the narrow road. We had a single carriage where, as soon as we found the motorway, we can overtake. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. Oh, he, well, he gave that up quickly. A rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. Wow, I looked away at the screen for a split second and he, he lost me. All right, Benedict Point. What's right, the point in Benedict Point? Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract them so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. It's quite good that you skip from one character to another to do a mission or a quest for them. It makes it feel quite episodic, doesn't it? It's really cool. I know other games do it, but they, they let you could pretty much go down one entire quest line of one character, one Leave quest away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out And then go do hill. another one. But these seem to reveal and unravel more slowly. Right, sorry, what did you say? What have I got to do? There I am getting all philosophical. Steal a deputy's horse to become wanted. Well, why would I do that? Oh, that's right, to help the man. This is one god awful assignment. Do I talk I to these guys? This place is deader than Can I just shoot them instead? I've seen a female worth looking at in days. I'll look at him with this Go on, ski daddle. There ain't no reason S for you. Ski daddle. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll go for the. I'll go for the pink horse, the one that's slightly further away than the rest of them. Go, go, go. Oh God. Oh God. No, they shot the. Ho they shot the other horse. <gasps> if I'd known. Lose your wanted level. How do I do that? They're following me. Do I? Do I? Oh god, they are actually genuinely following me. While you are wanted, uh, law enforcement officers will pursue you. Yeah, got that. I'm going off. I'm going off road. But, oh, they can still see me. It's my stamina. My stamina, humana. Okay, I need to. I need to. I need to lose them. How do I lose them? Let's use the rocks. Do you think they're that clever? Come on. Just keep going, keep going, that's it. Come on. The wanted, okay, so the wanted word is ticking down. Get up, get up! Get up. Come on. God Come on. damn it, I've been put back in wanted state. I thought we were doing well there. New section of the map. No idea. Go on, down you go. Okay, the horse is struggling here, but but I might have lost them. Yeah, I think I've lost them. Stay there. Oh, for just as it was about to pop, you dodgy little. now. Oh, he's catching up on the road. And I'm caught again. Okay, this is kind of getting on my nerves now. Right, head away from the circle. That might be a good plan. Let the horse is stamina build back up. Yes, yeah, very good. 
sprint because I think I'm winning. You gotta sprint when you're winning. Oh, I've lost my wanted level. There we go. All right, not too bad. I think I actually went full circle. I mean, came back to. Ooh. We haven't come back to Seth. This is where we were before. Oh God. Yeah. All right, give me a minute. Might take a little while. Where are you, Seth? Where are? Oh, good lord! Look how far away we got. We could go across. Oh, wait a minute! We got a shortcut. Why is it taking me away there? Oh, okay. Let's go. To head into the valley of the shadow of death. Well, that was fun. Didn't like that much. Getting wanted. You know, it wasn't my choice. I've been playing this game like a very good boy. And I just did a bad thing. I stole a I stole a horse. It's it's not my style. I'm going cross country here. Hang the consequences. found a place <laughs> and I can't get down to it oh pity this fool shall I just I'll leave the horse here and go sliding let's see what happens this might well kill me this might be the stupidest thing I could do but I'm gonna do it I have to find out easy now easy now okay slow slowly slowly Oh, done with style. Well done, son. Right, why is there a red X? Okay, that's fine. I was just the waypoint I put on him. Sorry, I thought I meant he was dead. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth! They arrested me! It weren't my fault! Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! This ain't none okay, of Okay, I bitches. got you. Uh, where'd you go? Now, why isn't there a horse around when you need one? Oh, look! We do have one. Although I th oh yeah, he's running a bit fast. Right. Give me that. Give me that horse. Oh, that's my horse. Thank you, horse. Got him. Oh, so we can hold tight. Oh, here we go. That's the way to do it. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Okay, I've got a buried like this because it's quite a journey. Go. You can place the high, uh, hogtie person on your horse. Oh, for God's sake, I could have done that a Who minute ago. Who do you ago. think you are, mister? Press Y when your horse is, uh, by your horse's hindquarters. Yes, well, I'm nearly there now. I'm the, the mule. You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. <clears throat> well, yeah, I, I am a little stupid, but... Seth lost his mind a long time ago. It's the game's fault, not mine. I suppose I've, I could have whistled we'll for my horse. Yep, yep, us, yep. shut up. You. I heard one of you saying that or thinking it out loud. Thank you. Thanks. Perfect timing. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth. Damn you, Seth. You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. I see they're going to the same dentist. Piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. 
I want to cut into a bona fide man's uh, flesh. Ain't uh, never cut into a live uh, one before. Uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Hurry up. I need to go find that man. Okay, so that's how we do it then. We, we get a, a pardon letter. I've still got a bounty on me of 20 whole dollars. So I'm still a target of bounty hunters. Got it. Oh! Oh, this is the telegraph office. I didn't need a, didn't need a ride here, but thanks ever so much. My four-legged taxi. Beautiful work. Well, hello. Go on, then. You can clear it at the desk. That crazy Mary swears she's seen treasure. Give the pardon letter. Oh, oh, you can pay off the bounty as well. Okay. Come on. Just give him that pardon, Larry, so we can get out of here. I'll be seeing it's done, again. Seth. Calm thyself. What else can you do for me, sir? Nothing else. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Like he's building up, uh... A rough and ragged crew of people who will help him in the future. You know, it's classic Western. Right, but, 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 but. No need to walk, mister. Yeah, that's the stagecoach. But what is in here? We've got... What was it called? Something commode. Oh, it's the train station. Okay, whatever. Or the, the postmaster's office. Now, oh, oh. You're the question mark. Talk to the man. My, my, take a look at you. When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold? Tough, but with a heart of gold, the cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, uh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. <laughs> yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back East. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, mm, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <clears throat> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> okay. Funny man journal entry added. What a strange note. Journal brief. That's okay. So that was his whole script. That was everything he said. Strangers. Funny man. Inactive. You met a writer visiting from Manhattan at the train station in Benedict Point. He's traveling around to observe life on the last frontier. Okay, so he's going to come into the story a bit later. Awesome. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, that's probably a nice way to end anyway. With a little teaser for something else that's to come.
Well, I enjoyed that. We've rescued some horses from the barn and we've managed to help a grave robber release his friend and find out the location of some treasure map. Who knows what that will lead to. But I enjoyed that one. Hope you did as well. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, comments are always welcome. And I'll see you in the next part. Take care and good night. There was nothing there. I need to shoot something. I want to shoot a bird or something, anything, anything that moves, apart from a person, or a horse. I'll find some. See you. No, 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 it's a cactus. Where did all the animals go? That's something that moves. Whoa! Beautifully done. All right, let's get off the train tracks before that goes horribly wrong. Crow feathers done. Let's, let's shout and wave. Hi! Hi! Whoa! That's close. That was a little too close. He got up. He resurrected. The crow lives and then dies again. Well, okay, I'm actually going this time. I can't get that. Whoa, 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 what? What's going on here? Is this guy. He's being chased. Those guys aren't trying to shoot me, are they? No, those are. Those are sheriffs. Oh, they shot him! Oh, okay. Well, I I could have hogtied him. That would look. You could have taken him alive, man. My fault, officer. Sorry about this, partner. All right, because I took that money. Do they care? No, they don't care. Oh God. Well, there you go. You see, this is the thing with Red Dead. Random events. Random events. Absolutely love it. So many games could benefit from that kind of thing. But they have to be fun. Can I can I steal the horse? I'm not going to steal the horse. No, 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 no. Put that down. Put that down. I know I said goodbye a minute ago. <gasps> Ooh, flowers. There we go. That's one. Okay, you can just wander around the countryside. I mean, the, the countryside? The frontier? That is. Oh, it's too high. Surely not. I'm, I'm not sure I'm ever going to find that one. What the hell was that? Well, it worked. What did I bag me? Oh, it's it's small and blue. It's a songbird. Oh God, I feel terrible now. Right. That's it. Um, I think it's time. No, it's time to save the game. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next part. All the very best. Take care once again. Sorry for saying that twice. And good night.